Hey, welcome to Go Beyond Betty. <laughs> Today we're having a chicken cock off or chicken off. So we've got four identical young chickens all brined and then we're cooking them up four different ways. So we'll start with the easiest, which is not here. We're gonna use our neighbor's gas um, grill. So we're gonna do a beer can chicken on it. Then on the charcoal, which we're about to start uh, in a second. So on the Weber charcoal. And then third, um, most difficult would be on the Traeger pellet smoker. And then lastly, on the Oklahoma Joe. They're all cooked that way because uh, they're at different temperatures and different amounts of smoke and heat. And so we're gonna see which one turns out the best. This one's been on for five hours. That'll be on for two hours. And then each of the grills will be about an hour and a half or so um, until they're at the right temperature. So we'll see how they turn out. So I'm the official camera woman today and taste tester. So I need to determine which of these four are the best so that I can recommend it to you. Although we have about 20 other people trying it too. But we'll see, we'll let you know in the end which one is best. This is the night prior prep for our chicken cook-off. I've got four young chickens in here. I've cleaned oh. them up and cut off some of the, uh, the excess fat and everything. And then we're gonna brine them overnight. So I've mixed one cup of salt, three quarters cup of sugar, and about a quarter cup of black peppercorns. Uh, dissolved it in hot water. We're gonna pour this over the chickens and then fill it up with water. And then I'm gonna put a plate on top to weigh them down so they're submersed all night. And then they're gonna brine overnight and then we'll cook them tomorrow. That's your own rubber, that's the carne nope, asada this rub. This is a carne asada Weber rub, which I know carne asada is normally for beef, but I don't play by everyone's rules. This is chicken number two. This one's gonna go on the Traeger or a pellet smoker at 375, which should take two hours. Uh, number one's been on the, the long smoker already. It's gonna take a total of five hours and it's cooking at 225 to 250-ish. So I'll show you what that one looks like um, when we go out to put this one on. And then I've got two more that we're gonna pull out of the brine and season it up just like this. They all have the same seasoning. It's just a store-bought um, smokehouse seasoning. Um, and we'll see how they all turn out. Hey. Hope she's not too tall. <laughs> yeah, I'm She's a big bone girl. All right, so that's the one for the Traeger. And I'll show you the one that's been on the, the Smoky Joe. It's on there with a couple of oh. pork butts as well. So it gets <laughs> Which one of these doesn't smoke. belong? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. It fits nicely, just barely. Good grief. Just barely. Yep. And that's that. All right, folks, we're in the last hour. Um, so the Traeger one, which we think will take about two hours, has been on there for about an hour, almost. So it's coming along pretty well. Uh, the smoky one has been on for a very long time, so it's got a lot of dark bark on the outside of it. And the one on the Weber just went on, uh, along with the one on the gas. So this is running at about 600 degrees, indirect heat. So that'll cook a lot faster. And then the gas is about 460. So we're trying to manage those and keep them down, but they'll obviously cook quicker, might be more juicy, we'll see. All right, folks, it's go time. We're gonna pull them off uh, Smoky Joe's, the smokiest, obviously. Super dark, rich color. Oh, look at those legs, <laughs> it's sticking out. So he's done. And then my Traeger boy, probably the next most caramelized. And you just had water in the cans, it wasn't actually just beer. Water. Yep, just use the can. It's just for moisture. Yep, just for water to keep it like a steam tray. That's it. Okay. So we're gonna grab the other two. This is our last one on the gas grill. Pull this guy off. Got dirt. Got a big problem here, Brad. Handy though. I'm a terrible camera woman. Uh, I completely just was busy and forgot about filming the end of our chicken cock off. So I will tell you, and you can see the results, it was really close. From my perspective, I thought the trigger was gonna win but I picked the, the Smoky Joe as my favorite. It was the least moist, I will say, moist. Uh, but it had that whole other element of flavor which made it just stand out from the rest. I will say the, the gas one, although it didn't look the best, to me it was the juiciest. So, the jury's out. So I encourage you, have a party. Have a taste testing party. Pick a meat, pick a thing, 
and just have a party and have fun with it because that's all we did. I mean, we love chili cook-offs and that's where we got the idea for this whole thing. So there you go, taking whisks in the kitchen. I'm so proud of you. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Do, 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 boo, boo.